Oh. We are very pleased to welcome as our guests on the show, the chairman of the youth programs for the Rotary Club of Honolulu, Rick Tabor, and also from the University of Hawaii Rotaract Club, and she's gonna tell you what it is. She's the president, Joyce Rowe Savia. Welcome, Joyce. <laughs> I wanna make sure I got your last name correct. <laughs> Rick, for those people who are not familiar with the Rotary Club, I am, because I was a long time member, explain to us what is the mission of Rotary. Okay. Well, let me start with, Rotary actually started in 1905. The gentleman from Chicago, Paul Harris, that started the club. Here in Hawaii, our clubs started in 1915 with the very club that you and I were in, um, Rotary Club of Honolulu. So Rotary, um, the mission really is it's service-oriented. It's really peace, love, <laughs> you know, everybody's uh, equality. Um, and we do a lot of community service kind of projects locally, nationally, and internationally. Um, in March, our Rotary Club is actually going to uh, Philippines, actually, to help with a school that they actually built um, years ago. Um, there are international clubs, and there's over a million members internationally. I believe amazing. here in Hawaii, we're 3,500. Yeah, I didn't know that. 58 clubs here. That is yeah. amazing, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I know you, and it's perfect for you being in the Rotary Club because you give so much back mm -hmm. to your community. And we're going to talk about the youth programs a little bit more right after we talk to Joyce. Jo Joyce, what does Rotaract mean? It comes from Rotary in Action, and that's why we as Rot Rotaractors work with Rotarians to do community service projects and even professional development opportunities as well. It is really an opportunity for young professionals to get involved in their community. And young professionals are like me, who are college students, but they're also postgraduates. Now you mentioned the Rotaract at the University of Hawaii, that it is for graduates, for students, mm -hmm. and postgraduates. Which are you? I am currently a undergraduate, so I haven't graduated yet, but I will be graduating in 2025 with my Bachelor's of Science in Bioengineering. Now, Rick, tell us about RILA. RILA stands for Rotary Youth Leadership Awards. Ooh. And so it's been it's been around for 63 years internationally. There's there they 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 have it all over the world, but we've had it here in, on the islands, and it's where we it's an intensive uh, uh, camp teaching leadership skills to high school students. There's also a junior RILA, but we won't go there. That just started recently. Okay. Last few years we've been online, but typically we're in person. We're up at Camp Pomolani or up at Camp Bergman. Um, it's usually in February every year. It's a three-day camp. And we bring in remarkable presenters. I got General Bramlett. I have uh, Amanda Ellis. I mean, you know some of these people. Um, um, Lila Berg is presented. You know, I could have you come and present. And we we teach leadership skills. So it starts with just getting to know each other. We split open the ohanas, and we learn how to team together. And then we end up doing a community service project. Actually, a sustainable coastline typically comes and helps us clean the beach up at Wailua. And I'm going to ask both of you this question. I understand that Rotary is involved in scholarships. Mm -hmm. uh, either one of you, let's start with Rick. Students, high school, college, can actually apply for scholarships, Hawaii Youth uh, Rotary Scholarships. And each Rotary Club selects their students for the scholarship. I was actually lucky enough to be a recipient myself back that. in the day. Yeah. Great, um, Joyce. And it's definitely changed my life and it's made me want to be part of Rotary for the long run. I'm definitely in this for the long run. Joyce, I am so impressed by you and everything you're describing, the confidence, the community service, all of the positive aspects of Rotary and certainly embodied in you. Oh, thank you very much. The name of our show is Inspire You and Me. Mm -hmm. Rick Tabor, what inspires you? Life. <laughs> so I'll always say life inspires me. And and we have a, we have a COVID puppy that, that that you often have on your oh, show. Yeah, Thank a, you. She's a star of our show. <laughs> so, sure. so, no, Halani actually, you know, she brings so much life to our family. She Aww. just kind of revitalizes us. Same Ryla, the youth. Yeah. Th that energy. They they actually restore my faith in humanity every year that I do Aww. Ryla. So life. Yeah. yeah, that is beautiful. Joyce? Oh, I don't know if I can follow up with that. But, um, I am a firm believer in continuous learning. It's the ideology that there is you're, you should be open to learning and that there's always something new to learn. And so what inspires me is 
is that notion of continuous learning and that there's so many things that have yet to be discovered and so many things that I can learn that I don't know yet. And so going forth in life and just learning about all these new things and maybe even, you know, making my own discoveries, mm -hmm. that's definitely inspiring. I want to thank you both for being a guest on Inspire You and Me. It's been our pleasure to have you here and continue the wonderful community service work that you're doing in Rotary. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you, Jessica, for having us. Changing from